Hi friends, now I will give you some example in C sharp. What is a system dot type? Using system dot type, how can we read the class memberships like method information, properties information, constructors? As well as I will also show what is the activator in C sharp. So what is the using activator how we can create uh, dynamically objects at runtime so i will show that uh, yeah, i will demonstrate that one also so let me so this is my c sharp program and in in my c sharp program i have employee information dls so in that it i have the employee class in my employee class i have the property called name and it has two methods what is update name or employee name so get employee name so in update name method it's going to get uh, receive the name and it will update the name to that private vari public variable as well as it is uh, uh, suppose if you want to read the what is the name it has using get employee name we, we, uh, the, uh, this method will return the employee name uh, employee name so it has two methods using reflection system dot type and how we are going to read these details and how we are going to view this the details using reflection i will show it now so this is my c sharp program so let me go and build this so i also reference this the uh, library to my console application employee info and uh, as it mentioned let me go and read uh, the type class system dot type so it is from the system dot runtime library so the so here we have an example shows the few representative features of type so the in c sharp we can also achieve using type of operator instead of type dot get type so we can also do same thing with the type of operator so from this type object the get method used to get the method info representing uh, representing the system dot substring overload that takes a start locational length of string suppose if we wanted to re uh, read i mean so if you wanted to get the particular method from that library we have the method called get method so if you use that get method with name so it is going to return the method info object from that method info object we have uh, we can access that uh, the method name so that's what it is explaining here from this type object the get method is used to get the method info representing to system the substring so which is overload that takes a starting location and length so let me go and uh, do the same thing for my my employee object first where we type so as it mentioned type of employee so if i so if by by this type of object it is going to get the all the properties of this class and assign to this this variable from this variable using method info or so using get members so we have the method called get members so this members will retrieve all the members 
under this class using reflection key members so if we, if we if we go for for each for this one for each So if we execute this, so it is going to get the, all the members of this employee and assigning to this variable. If I loop this, it's going to read, it's going, it should display all the properties and the events and methods under this class along with some default to members. So let's see that how it is. So it is retrieved all the details and show it here. So VTS system dot if you see here it has the get employee name as well as update name. These are the two methods it has and one is the property called name. So that is these details. So and it has one uh, property called string name also. It these are the defaults uh, it is which is going to assign by the object from the object so these are all uh, members available for this class in employee class so you guys understand right oh, you using type system the type or type of we are uh, we can able to fetch the all the details under the dlls so that we can call it as a reflection and now now I will give an example how we can call we can how we can access the employee method details and uh, up, so how we are going to access using reflection dynamically for that first I need to create an instance to that class so we have where employee instance so we have the assembly assembly dot create instance sorry not assembly activator dot create instance we have different uh, methods here we have create instance and create it from so if we know the path you can go for create it from and if, so since I will go for the create instance here create instance has type so since I already have type I will use type here it has different set of overload methods for create instance like type and uh, we have the assembly name if you know the full assembly name and type fully assembly name then we can go for that one we can use that and we have the type since I already know the type I use the same the same and we can you can try the different uh, options under this it has uh, under this page it has explained all the methods for the activator you can use you can go through this this uh, this website so once I create instance and I need to go to I need to use my type and try to access the get method so now I want my now I wanted to so I, here I need to specify the which method I wanted to access 
so now I would like to go for uh, access for the update name so you have to specify the method you want to access and uh, it is going to return return the member info where update info so it is going to assign that uh, method info in this variable from here uh, we have the invoke object so in this invoke it, it has two parameters object and uh, instance object as well as parameters so this is my instance employee instance i need to pass it here and the parameters so here i need to pass the parameters so the parameters should pass as an object so new So it has one default para, para, it has parameters so it is accepting as a string so that's why I'm passing string name this is the name so with this I am setting my name and now I if I wanted to read I, again I need to access that method read method in this time this time it has the get employee name so it is going to get the employee in employee info so let me invoke again so to invoke that uh, this method we have the invoke uh, invoke method it is also as i mentioned here so we have to use invoke and I am just passing instance and in this case there is no parameter required so I just put null here and so this method is going to get that employee name so I need to uh, read those va that value so result equal so let me read write this one Suppose if all success here, now I should get that employee name. Now I am setting setting my uh, name as a Vasubabu. I am reading that name and I am assigning value to this my result. So I should read, I should see that uh, result as a this name. So let me comment this and get confused. We observe here now so I can I can dynamically creating instance and dynamically uh, updating and as well as retrieving the data to that my to that library my employee library so so I hope you understand right uh, so we have to first to get the type using type of so it is going if so it is going to get the all the mem uh, properties members of that uh, class and assigning to this um, uh, variable so type of get type is the mostly using reflection we can get the uh, details of dlls and uh, so using activated at create instance i'm creating instance to that uh, the type and so it is going to create instance and uh, assigning to this variable dynamically so i am using that that instance and invoking members using method info object so i hope you understand right how we can uh, how we, um, we by using type type of and uh, create instance uh, how we can dynamically access the uh, libraries details assembly information using reflection I, I hope you understand something and please go through this website uh, this ms docs it is having 
complete details about what is the type and what is the activator and uh, what is their members and fields and methods how we need to use with example so uh, so i am trying to give some idea thank you guys have a nice day